Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This one is very special because this is the first time, maybe the only time, that we will see this guy right here, this CEO. Look at him, look at him, look at him, Mr. Kambe. Yep. In high funds, this is a high funds match, you will sometimes uh, be allowed to use a Kambe in tier 1. And also Sensei was also a tier 0 generally, but in high funds he is always, I think, tier 1 and sometimes even lower in, I don't know some other weird maps but yeah Kanbei sometimes is tier 1 so he is allowed sometimes and this map is called Malakit Trail it's a very very big map uh, with a lot of income like 60 something uh, per side so insane and it's mixed base too so you have like you have your two base here and your one base over here and another one base here and each of them one base has an airport of their own uh, this one also has a port right here um, but this one seems this one is a little bit weaker than this one uh, I think because of how like how little the space is although you also have a port and people will sometimes build a battleship and a carrier to like prevent being base rushing or, or whatever I've always seen this base like this one uh, end up falling to the pressure of like the two base plus this base they join here and they take over the space and then it becomes like a you know these four bases against the, 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 these four bases but sometimes it ends before because one succeeds to take over the base and the other doesn't. Um, but yeah, wild map. There's a there's two airports per, per side, one over here and here for yellow, and then for uh, purple or uh, white Nova here has two airports, one here on this side. There's also two comm towers per side, so you have these these little islands of which this one will always go to this player because the helicopter gets there in one turn, and this one goes to this player. And then these two are a little bit contested, but and they always start falling under the control of the closest two base side. And might later like uh, flip if enough army like joins here, like from yellow, they join here and here, they can end up taking over this tower. But yeah, crazy, crazy map. Um, the CEOs, the most important thing about this match is the CEOs. Okay, so this is a tier one high funds match and if you've played high funds before um, or if you haven't just just know that tier one is insane like t you have like tier i don't know four three two and like in tier two is like max one vault drake but then tier one is like a whole complete different game altogether it's like a whole different it's like playing with with cheat codes you have kambe who like is insane like for 20% more has 30% more attack and defense uh, just insane Thir especially the 30% defense is just insane because it stacks with the oh, cities so like or like you know just with terrain in general so you have 30 plus 30 of the cities that's 60% defense and then his superpower is just also insane he gets ridiculous amount of uh, defense and attack and also gets like a counter attack bonus just like <laughs> insane just a completely unkillable for like a whole turn and then you have Olaf who generally is tier 2 in other modes but here is tier 1 uh, but you know gets the global damage with only six bars or th six uh, seven I mean, seven stars and gets the snow going so Kanbe will will struggle with uh, like uh, taking up so because it costs more and so Olaf will want to, or anyone against Kambi will want to take up earlier and get like medium tanks and neo tanks and bombers and stuff like that. Get more bigger stuff to be able to actually kill Kambi's regular stuff. Um, potentially deny some cities from Kambi, like slow uh, just Kambi's economy in general. Although it's really hard because Kambi's economy at first is just incredible because his infantry just don't die with anything it's very hard to stop his cap you can't even stop him with your own infantry because your infantry will die so you have to send your vehicles and you send your vehicles he, he gets to then first strike your vehicle with his vehicle it's just really hard so i wouldn't be surprised for kanbei to like be at the par of economy if not even more but then you have to try to like whittle down kanbei's uh, economy little by little and so that's what olaf is going to try to do here our players here, um, we have Kill Me First uh, as player one with Olaf, and who I've already had it in other videos. He's a very strong player in 
all modes, standard, uh, fog, and in high funds, he got to be very quickly like one of the top players in high funds. So very, very strong player. And then we have Shark, who I've also done a few videos, I think. Uh, he's also top, top uh, high, high funds player. If not, I think he's uh, on the number one of the ladder, unless uh, someone has taken over his spot. But yeah, two of the best uh, high funds currently players right now. Okay, enough with the intro. Let's get right into the match because this is this match is crazy. Uh, oh, before let's change some colors. Okay, now yes, now that we've picked a good color, <laughs> at least they contrast a little bit so you can see them and identify them a little bit better. Let's start on with the match. We have Kill Me First with the uh, yellow comet and Shock with the. Oh, look at these guys. They're like flipped around. That's funny. There you go. Okay, nice. Uh, we have a uh, shock with a teal galaxy. Um, actually, shock skipping this cap over here to go for this one. Um, you're gonna see them, yeah, rush this airport pretty pretty fast. They, they both went, they both went for this airport. You're gonna get a T-copter. Gonna go for this com tower most likely. Same for shock here. And has just a, a, enough funds to make a tank and a recon. T-copter, tank, and recon. That's Kanbei. Okay. So, going for the comp tower. I'm gonna get a V-copter. Gonna get a tank. Also going for the comp tower first. You wanna... Um, you usually want to ensure this comp tower fast, because if not... If you don't, a uh, copter over here can get in one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, okay, so it doesn't get in one turn. But yeah, you want to get this fast or else it can get interrupted and then might get hard to, to get. Mm. Okay, so these copters coming in over here, threatening a lot. N no anti-air over here from Shark. There's an anti-air over here. Oh, look at that. Look at this T-copter over here blocking. Bugging the city so that uh, Kanbei can't capture the city. This tank sitting on the city. There's no chance he can strike this. Like, I don't even know what the trade is here if you strike with this tank against this one, but I'm pretty sure it's very, very bad. Oh, same here. Same T-Copter shenanigans blocking the city. Shifting this tank over here, so kind of like not going over here, killing first, just going over here. Like really focusing here and here, and shock is like a little bit spread out, has a tank here and a tank here. This anti-air, this anti-air in a silo, it's like, oh, there's a tank, doesn't matter. What is it gonna do, like three damage? A, a seven HP or whatever, uh, can be anti-air still in a one-shot a copter, so doesn't care. Finally getting this uh, this city, and Kambi will probably also get this city as well. Look at this, uh, the, the city sitting the city sitting by Kambi is very very annoying. Look at this, a recon here, an anti here, this tank over here, just being extremely annoying and like delaying the the captures for for Olaf. But like, what is um? What is Olaf going to do with these tanks and copters against just the same units as Kambi but stronger? So it looks like Kambi over here is pulling back a little bit and try to regroup over here. There seems to be too many copters. Maybe, yeah, because if this entire does get taken out by two tanks, then these copters can go crazy. Just making a lot of big copters by by uh, by Olaf. Kill me first. Gonna go for these captures over here. Has this capture? Has this city right here, which is really really funny. Um, had a tank here sitting to avoid the infantry from capping, but now that there's a tank, puts a copter sitting on this city, of which uh, there's no anti-air to strike it. So it's just another turn that is delayed uh, for Kambe to capture this. Because this will get captured by the player over here, this two base. Same as this city over here will get captured. This is just the lane. Like, Kill Me First for some reason has somehow got this city, but uh, it's not gonna have it for too long. Over here, just 
Staying back. Attacking this recon. <laughs> Three damage. A tank to a recon. Oh, that's so bad. I don't know why he went for that strike. He's gonna get destroyed for, with a tank over here. What? I mean, yeah, okay, you have a you have a Neo now. Um Oof, look at that. Insane. 9 4 against the tank on a city. Oof. Right now, right now, Kambe is actually up in income. Wow. Yeah. Got that strike there. So this tank is dead. Um, what is he gonna do? Can't even take out this recon. That recon has been shot at by a full HP tank. And then a 1 HP. And then another full HP tank and it doesn't die. And now it dies with a... Okay. With an infantry. Look at that. What? The new tank does 5 to a tank. No. Does it die? Wow. Does it die? Okay. Oof. Insane, you need so many units to kill just a, a simple tank of Kambe on a forest. Ridiculous. Into <laughs> Look at this. What? 8-5. It's insane. And like, uh, does he have two towers? No, he has only one tower. Okay, and Kambe has two towers. Okay, so yeah. It's Kambe plus two towers, that's 150 firepower. That's insane. And Olaf only has one tower. And actually, can be threatening to get a, the third, like a third one. That would be really bad. Like three com towers. One, two, three versus one com tower of Olaf. Okay, so sends a tank to interrupt that. Okay. It's not, it's gonna, not gonna allow Kanbei to be more overpowered than he already is. Look at that. No. Wow, look at that tank onto that anti air. 6-8. Wow. Here is the, the great wall of copters from Olaf. Now, Shark, I mean, to be honest, Shark is a little bit outnumbered here. A little bit like, um, yeah, outnumbered and, sur and uh, surrounded. Like, there's way too many units over here. So many copters also like ready to pounce on anything that comes in, like any of these tanks or whatever. These are all covering all of these units, these tanks, this infantry. So yeah, it can be has some copters or like this anterior. It like has some defense. Like this copter is not gonna be able to reach these copters even if it like breaks through. There's so many more copters by Olaf that like uh, he can just wreck any copters from Kanbei and then keep killing everything. So, Shark here probably will want to retreat. He's gonna charge and heal with this copter. Ooh, wow. Is it a two? That's insane. Yeah, he's gonna like, kinda like gonna pull back over here. We're also getting like dangerously close to the powers. You know, I wouldn't say that normally in like a standard or fog, but in high funds, this is like literally one turn worth of charge. Uh -huh, but also going for these captures over here. Like very, very boldly trying to flip this city. Very dangerous. Oof. I'm gonna sit here to like deny this uh, capture. You can probably take it out still. Gonna go for this one. Going for so many cities. He doesn't get this one yet. Uh, I'm just gonna try to go for this capture. It's gonna block. Put a tank here. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's definitely pulling back from over here. It, it's just way, way too many. Also, there's there's nothing really for Kambi to kill this uh, Neo tank right now. So, and now it's it's all left. What? What? Okay, this answers my question that I didn't do, but I was thinking. I wondered how the engagements of pilot copters were gonna be, and there you have it. <sighs> five five. <laughs> 
Ay, no. Okay, I mean, granted, uh, Olaf doesn't have his second comp tower, but... Damn, you need... Like, that. that's pretty insane. Another one. 6-5. And, and the powers are going up. This, this city, this city... Okay, it's gonna go for the comp tower. Oh, it's gonna go for some tank attacks. Neo can even clear this infantry. It's like another city. It looks like it really wants to attack over here. This is like, you know, when you control the middle of the map and then you can decide to go like to one side or to the other. This is kind of like what Kill Me First is doing right here. And it's also like what uh, Shock is doing on this side as well. Like, Kill Me First has this like section right here and he can decide to go like to over this area to attack or to this area and shot can do the same thing he's kind of going like both ways he's going like for these captures and for these captures but uh, it's doing some very strange engagements yeah it's because he's missing the charge and he gets his winter fury boom and so now, now look at that. Now look, now the copter engagements are like they usually are, you know, an 8-3 kind of engagement. So like, it feels like the Winter Fury kind of like brings it back to the to a normal level, you know. But uh, camp-based units are more expensive, pretty much. Still has this ridiculous defense. Can't even clear it. There you go. Has another some has a lot of strikes. Take is gonna deny this capture over here. You're gonna try to get it. Um, and it's gonna position over here. I mean, yeah, I guess also the Winter Fury interrupted all of these caps that uh, Shark was going for. This one, this flip, this neutral one. I mean, he was able to take out this one. It also interrupted this one. So it's there was a lot of CD captures that uh, Shark was going for, and Kill Me First just like sacked, oh, well, eh, kind of sacked, just went for a lot of engagements to get charge and then get the super to deny all of that and just get a, a nice uh, bunch of engagements. But also the the, the hurt, the thing that hurts a lot for Kambi is the, the the snow. Like these copters barely move now, but we'll see because. Are you gonna do it or not? There you go. Next time we have a samurai spirit. Oof. The like invincible units. I, I don't even know how many stats can be guys. It's just like ridiculous. Look at wow. Wow, 4 HP tank, killing another 4 HP tank. So crazy. Uh yeah, just kinda like pulling back, I guess. Can't can't uh, engage a lot of here, but uh, it's gonna take out this infantry. It's like nope, you're not gonna get that capture. I mean, Kambi literally is ahead on in income, so that's really, it's, it's not super good for Olaf. Uh, oof, wow, look at that engagement. This tank over here is probably unkillable right now. Uh, it's making a lot of artillery. Oh yeah, and they can barely move. But yeah, it was, it was limited a lot on the engagements that he could do, but they were still very favorable. And he's gonna get a second comp tower. So Olaf, so now they're both on equal comp towers. And gets a bunch of cities. These that he was going for. And so now he now Killing Force is slightly ahead than Nine Kambe. But there's still so many captures over here, so. Not sure. So many captures for Olaf. Playing very this very 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 defensive over here on his two base. Uh wait, actually. He's just gonna leave the cities. Wow, okay. So, Kambi is gonna be ahead in income a lot. Like, a lot. One, two, and this one's a flip, so double, and three. So now it's 58 to 64. Now Kambi can start making, like, I mean, there's already a medium tank for Kambi. How do you kill that? It sits in a city, there's nothing that kills it. Make some, make some Neo tanks. A mega tank. <laughs> it's just gonna, it's just gonna pull back. I feel like Kambi. I mean, I would think that Kambi is just very chill. Yeah, like 
Very chill, sitting back. You wanna take my cities? I'm gonna point my artillery at, your, at my cities, so you can never take them. I have super strong units, I have the income lead, like... It's fine, I'm chilling. You know, like, like come to me. Nolov is gonna go for some copter attacks. Lots of, lots of city sitting over here, doesn't wanna allow... Yeah, I guess this infantry was pointing at this city. And this one would heal up and try to go for this city. So <laughs> the medium tanks are literally like walls of no, you're not gonna get this city. You need a whole medium tank to stop a campaign infantry. Insane. So I wonder what the game plan right now for uh, for killing first is because I mean I, I'm not sure if campaign is winning, but it's like I'm pretty sure you wanna like keep the pressure on. She's gonna join a lot of units, probably for more income. So it joins a lot of uh, tanks here to get a full HP tank, but also probably uh, get some funds. And it's gonna try to get this city, but there's an artillery point, so this is not really uh, something that he's gonna get. And these, one of these copters is gonna die, well this one's gonna die, and these copters die. Uh, what is it? Oh, an infantry. Infantry dies. And... That's very strange. But I'm pretty sure what's going on. If he, did, if, he, if he does this, it's not by mistake. He did not do this by mistake. I am sure what he's doing. He, what he's going for right now. Yeah, another one. Yeah. Another one. Oof. Yep, it's coming. It's copied it, but two damage, a tank, boom, wow. Oof. No, oh, and the last one, like Olaf was able to get Winter Fury before the Samurai Spirit by getting a lot of engagements. Like he was very careful, and now it looks like uh, Shock was able to flip that around. Because usually, if you get it first, you know the other one gets the super. And then, you know, the supers go, go out, and then you're able to get it first again because of the charge. But no, Shoko was like, I'm gonna get it first now. It's like, second round is my round. So that's gonna hurt. Look at Ooh, Almost takes out a Neo tank with like, three tanks and a copter. The tank against the Neo tank, boom! Wow. Samurai spirit. And this medium tank is getting bullied also, wow. Crazy just completely overpowered units <laughs> what is this <laughs> this artillery is kind of like scared to fight but I mean there's no units to cover it so it's, it's fine these two cities haven't been captured by anyone Oof. okay hold off what are you gonna do now winter fury boom Okay, it's gonna go for this city. All that global damage always helps a lot. But he has a super defense, so like... It's, it's like, doesn't do anything. This medium tank did two damage, and the tank does another two damage. Oof. Look, no! Does two damage to an infantry, wow. Can you unkill this copter? <laughs> oh, no. Insane, but still, still charging in, still attacking, getting as many engagements and as much damage as possible against that Kambe. Trying to pull back over here. Kambe is literally just like winning here so much, and over here, I mean, yeah, maybe this artillery in this medium tank is dead. We'll see. We'll see what what Kambe does. There's, a, there's another Neo tank here for Kill Me First. There hasn't been a lot of ticked up units just yet. There's been a lot, a lot, a lot of copters from Olaf. A few copters from Kambi, but a lot of anti-air to deal with all these copters. And then just like one medium tank from Kambi, a lot of artillery. And then, and then a few Neo tanks and a few medium tanks from Olaf. Boom, that dies. So you're gonna, yeah, it's gonna keep attacking. Oh, that's insane. 
Wow, yeah, and Kambi still is ahead 10k over Olaf. That hurts. And you don't want to give this city, I mean, at least, yeah, it's not a full HP infantry. And kind of like pulling back over here. Doesn't want to like. Uh, well, yes, I, I guess because of the snow and there's uh, there's way too many uh, tech top units or just units in general. But if Kambi could join in these forces right here, like he does have this part, but uh, Olaf still has this part. I feel like with as with most mixed bases, these two areas are like the most important parts because it's where you can join your armies. You can join this part with this part or this part with this part so whoever has control of this area is the one that can join the forces and then like I mean also capture all of this stuff over here and then just like choose a side to crush pretty much and right now like it's Cambi on one side and Olaf on the other one so they're like even I wonder if they're gonna flip when one will take control of one section or not like I that's what uh, Cambi was trying to do over here a lot of what? Why so many infantry sacking there? Against the medium tank? Oh, it was probably to guarantee that kill. Wow, alright. And can't kill that artillery. It's gonna strike at the infantry. Okay, to delay the cap. And puts the t to here to also deny the uh, infantry from starting this capture. And here is choosing to go to this side. Instead of attacking over here, which would be death, which decides to go over here. Oh, it would be so nice to have these one tile closer to start this capture over here, this one. It's so unfortunate. And... Olaf trying to go over here, trying to... Really trying to take control of this area right here. Trying to surround... And Kami doesn't have a lot, actually. It's gonna take out that helicopter. Uh, Whoa, what helicopter? Um, okay. Taking out a lot of units. Oh, and that's the Samurai Spirit again before the, the Winter Fury. Wow. Okay, it's a weird attack. Just damaging this uh, Neo tank. Take the takes out this infantry. Okay. Um, I feel like can be spread are a little bit spread out though. But yeah, it doesn't want to give a doesn't want to give out control though, or like that doesn't want to lose control of this area, and at the same time a little bit gaining control of this area. It's a little bit contested right now because uh, Kill Me First troops here are a little bit dwindled. But we have the Winter Fury. And the snow, look at all the snow, the snow animation. So it takes out the artillery, it's gonna take out that. There's a lot of uh, cleaning up units. And kind of like regrouping here in the middle. So, still has control, I guess. I, I don't know, it feels a little bit contested for both. Probably more for Kill Me First over here and here, a little bit more for uh, Shark. But they, there's a lot of fighting. They really don't want to give up their cities. Like, for example, this medium tank also in this city. Well, I guess not. It's, 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 it's a Kanbei city, but maybe he doesn't want uh, another unit to be sitting here, so that has to clear it. So that then he can start the capture. Mm, oof, this neo there's two neo tanks. Two Kambe neo tanks. Those are scary. I mean, there's a bomber too, but still, these neo tanks are gonna be very hard to kill. You're always using um, like high defense terrain. You know, really using that defense. At all this, they're very even. Um, I mean, Shark is high above an uh, income. On unit value, killing force is a little bit higher, and on unit count a little bit too. So it's gonna take out all these artilleries. This bomber, very bold over here. 
Uh, but here it's gonna take out all of these little tanks. And it takes out that the anti-air and this artillery. And really trying to reclaim just wants to control this area now. Which would mean having both areas. Truck is trying to contest this one, but it seems like now all those forces are, are have dwindled and died and it's back into like secure Olaf control. And this is like mm, kinda like half and half. But oof. At the end of his turn, or at the beginning of Kambe's turn, it's 50 units for Olaf and 35 for Kambe, and like 300,000 against 200,000 value. So those Winter Fury is really paying off to get those engagements. We're gonna get another Samurai Spirit. But, takes a medium tank with an anti-air, okay. Um, it's gonna take those copters out and and just like that it's able to sit over here and try to contest this area it's unfortunate that like for example this one is one tile too far from the city or this one is one tile too far from the city to like start a capture with the super I think it's unkillable or it's like 90% defense something like that like it's really really hard you need you can interrupt it with an infantry. I think you need like something really strong to do like one damage. Oh, but then again you have global damage, so global damage also always helps with interrupting caps. So there's another global damage. It, it, it was it's already a little bit disadvantage for Kambe, I'd say. Uh, still has the income lead, so good for Kambe. Um, but it, it's a little bit behind in uh, unit count and unit value, so. And those Winter Furies always uh, damaging everything. Oh my god, can you... Oh, because he has the super, he has the, sumer, the Samurai Spirit, that's why. Oh my god, can't kill anything. Insane. Uh, it's gonna try to kill that anti -air. Okay. Oof, this Neo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this Neo is gonna have a party. And this artillery too. Okay, this bomber is not. It's, gonna be, it's not killed. It's not gonna be uh, killed by anything. That's fine. Mm. And it's starting this capture over here also. Yeah, this new tank destroys this tank. It's going to take out that and damage that artillery. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, this is going to damage the Neo tank. Okay, takes that out. But it, it always feels like, it always feels like uh, Olaf has way too many copters all the time. Like, there's not enough anti air to deal with all these copters. Co like, constantly. <laughs> it's just insane. It's not like they, they're they dealing so much damage, but they're really good at blocking and and just like little by little uh, damaging them and injuring the units and just dwindling the Kanbei army. Also really good at like taking out just Kanbei copters when they're really so look at that. They can't do anything, all the snow. Uh, there's a capture. Okay, so Olaf was able to flip this city. So now they're at equal income. Still has a pretty large unit count and unit value lead. He's gonna start this capture right here. Um, wow, this is only two damage. Oh, but the bomber, okay. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah, on a road, you get no extra defense, so that's dead. I mean, the bomber is also dead, but, <laughs> but he killed a Neo tank, so <laughs> that's something. Um, it's gonna stop that cap. Oh, and takes out the copter. And just sits in a bunch of cities. This mech. Because protecting this uh, tank over here. Potentially capture something. It interrupts this capture over here. So Kami is not going to be able to flip anything on his turn. Actually. And just complete control over here for Olaf. Uh, I, I don't think Kami was ever able to actually join the armies over here. So going to start this capture over here. More copters. 
And has a lot of artillery also, like, damn, that's a lot of artillery. Cam is going to take some uh, copters out, the bomber, take out the artillery. All these copters coming in over here. Are we going to get another super? Nah. He's going to join Cap over here. Oh, there's no way to interrupt these two. Or this one. That's three cities that are gonna are gonna be flipped by Olaf. That's huge. Like ding, ding, ding. That's three. That's that's uh six, twelve. That's twelve k swing. Yeah, that's a twelve k now difference. This is the first time that Olaf is uh, in the income lead in the whole the whole match. So I'm gonna start a capture over here and another one here. Yeah. And another one here. And gets the Winter Fury before Kambi can do the Summer Spirit. Oof. It's looking rough for Kambi now. He's really, yeah, he's completely denying this capture over here. I don't, I don't think Kambi's gonna be able to get this. Maybe with the Summer Spirit. But, hmm, let's see, Samurai Spirit. Gonna take some engagements. Oh yeah, cause also because of the snow, can't even reach this city over here. Wait, where was it at eight? Strange, maybe it was at eight before. But yeah, it's gonna join up here to have a full HP energy to then be able to capture. That's the thing with global damage, it really, it's really annoying to... It doesn't allow you to start captures or finish a capture. I mean, besides multiple other reasons why global damage is annoying, that is one of them. <laughs> Ooh, it, there's nothing here else, like... Olaf can start a capture here. I mean, he's gonna flip this one. Oh, flip to this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, my God, that's three more cities. That's 76 to 52. Just like that. In two turns. Um, that's a lot. That's 24K. 20, it's like a 50% difference almost. And yeah, this Camby is not going to get the city. Oh. It's going to start this capture and this one. And this artillery is going to protect it from any infantry. It's looking really rough for Kambi now. It's looking really good before, but... All those Winter Furies started uh, showing up and cleaning up everything. And over here, it seems like Killing First is like, no more interested. Okay, I got these cities. Okay, let's pull back. Which is smart because this is the two base area. You can't even, you can't push in here. This is, there's two bases pretty secure, so these cities are definitely uh, for sharks. There's more to be gained, maybe here, maybe this city, or maybe just, I mean, general over here as well. Now it's shark's turn, and, and shark resigns. Damn. GG. GG will play to both. Congratulations, kill me first. Um... I feel like Kambi is, is just stupidly strong, I mean of course, and had like really good control over here, no, like they had, uh, no, over here, so Kambi had control of this area, look at that, complete control of this area and all of uh, a little bit of this area, and this is like before the power started coming online, and then, oh, actually, yeah, so I think that one was very strong. To getting that uh, the first Winter Fury first was very strong because it stopped a lot of captures. It was one, two, three, four, five captures, maybe even this one. So that was both that was really strong to at least delay them and then being able to take one out, the other one left these three, which I think, I mean yeah, they eventually got captured. Um, he had control of this area, Olaf had control of this area, and then 
try to gain control of this area and try to push maybe too deep, too deep in here. Like I'm not sure why all his attack over here into the two base seemed a little bit too much when it's like so far to reinforce from over here and over here. And then it gives a little bit of room for this to come out over here and threaten. And gets a little bit, I mean yeah, I also went up here again. And like, see all this starts to come out and take control of the city. This starts to get squashed because no reinforcements are coming over here. Like just one base, but like over here, over this little side, because over here is under control of the of Olaf's troops. And all of this was a little bit uh, unsuccessful, I had to pull back. And so now, just like went over here, I guess also. But yeah, this is crumbling. Like all this is crumbling for for Kanbei. As more Winter Furies come in, and it's just controlling everything by like another one by Olaf. <laughs> and so now kind of has control of both areas a little bit. I mean, it started, it's starting to get this capture, and it gets this one because it's starting to fight over here. All the forces of Kanbei over here died. Like, and because he's, tr he's trying to reinforce over to this area to uh, reclaim this area, then Olaf comes over here and takes these, these cities and this cities over here, and then it's just that like the, the income indifference just starts skyrocketing. And with all the all the engagements from the global damage also as well, uh, it ends up really really positive for Olaf. So there you have it. A tier, a tier 0 CO Kanbei in Standard and Fog, but in High Funds is a tier 1 and can lose to uh, to another tier 1 uh, CO in High Funds, which is Olaf, but usually is a tier 2. So, depending on the mode, tiers and, all, and COs really like go up and down a lot. Not all of them, but, but a lot of them do. <laughs> so yeah, Kanbei, Kanbei is not invincible. Yeah. Uh, Olaf can Olaf can beat Kanbei, and supposedly like Olaf is a pretty good good counter to Kanbei because of the global damage and the snow. It really slows the the copters down. Uh, you're also gonna see. I don't want to go on too long, but like l look at these airports for Olaf. Just look at them. I'm gonna be skipping the turns. Every single turn, every single turn, there is a copter being made on both I mean this one is a T-copter but still it's a copter or a bomber like this every single turn those airports are being used like Olaf I mean kill me first really making very good literally every single turn there has it they haven't not be, these airports haven't not produced something on any turn <laughs> too many negatives but whatever they've always been producing so like producing you know four reunions out of the bases plus two for, for the for the airport, so that's six units. Six units every turn. It's like I need to get as many units as possible, and exploiting a lot of the air units because Kanbei's units are gonna get slowed down, forcing Kanbei to make his air units, which are more expensive and don't get the the defense boost from terrain. So Kanbei is gonna make like a lot of anti airs, which uh, Shark was doing. So that that was like really good, but really trying to like abuse of all the uh, advantages possible to overcome Kanbei's OP stats. Well, I hope you guys liked this uh, video and this match and I'll see you on the next one.